Hello guys, it's JC4. I just said goodbye like a couple seconds ago because I wanted to be cool and have this cutscene like introduce me to our next area. The SS Anubis. Now there's a couple ways you can go through this. I am going to take an alternate route first before going on to the story route because I find it easier and it can give you a, a weapon that's very helpful. So with that, let's go on. You can't skip this cutscene, it's kind of annoying, but you know, whatever. And I love this part, it's just, I find it amusing. Look at the wall, there's no door. Juno gets out and walks straight through the wall. I don't get it. Alright, real quick, I want to turn around to show you guys something. If you look, you can see your ship flying away. I didn't see that in an LP I saw, the guy's name was Corona180. He did a really good job and I like the way he did it and he helped me out with this game a lot. And he's my competition, so if I want you guys to like me, I gotta one-up him. Hey, fuck yourself. I'm not gonna talk to you yet. I'm going the different way. Oh, whoa, what was that? Okay. If you go the way he's blocking, then, you know, that's the way with the story. But if you go up here, there is a lovely present for you. The Plasma Shotgun. Now this isn't like your normal shotgun. What you do is you hold the Z button, shut the fuck up, to charge it. And then when you charge it, the shot gets more and more powerful. It's... Not... Yeah, you see that little bar up there? It's not like the best item in the game, but it's an okay one. Now over here is the top view of the area. I'm just gonna want to shoot this real quick. You'll see what that does later. But this is the area I wanted to go to. Okay, then. Alright, here we go. This, you can get all the tribals on the first try, so no harm done. My advice, since it's a maze, hang to the right and you'll always find your way. Eh! You cannot get on top of these crates, so don't bother trying. Listen to the music for a minute. I love it. Oh god, what are you doing right there? He's just hanging out. He's like, this wall looks very nice. Boom. Shh. Boom. I thought I saw a guy. Oi! Fuck off. You won't be in real any much of threat. You just run by. I mean, there's no real prize for killing all these guys, so... You can do it if you want. I'm just gonna kill whoever steps in my way. Yeah, screw you, you're dead. Where is it? I can't find it. Hang to the right, remember, that's what I'm doing. Oi, shove off. Aha! It was funny, because when I was playtesting this, like, I was running around trying to find the way out. I was trying to find this room, and instead, I found the way I came in. So I was like, oh, god damn it. This room, I don't understand it, but it is full with nothing but baby tribals. Be careful right here, you want to grab this one. There you go. There's like nine in here, so grab them all. Top of the crates, too. That one's one I missed, actually. I was trying to find it where it was earlier, and I couldn't quite get it, and it was right there. Do -do -do. There's one right down there. Luckily, the ship doesn't necessarily like have a huge hitbox, so you can uh. Hey, screw you! Get up, get up there. There we go. Still missing some. So you can kind of walk about the ship without touching it, but I'd still advise you to be careful. Last thing you want to do is accidentally leave. Where's the others? God damn it, baby Bob! Oh, well, there we go, I accidentally found him. Cool. So, since we're still missing tribals, we gotta go find the others. Luckily, it's not far from here. Heads up, though, there's an assassin drone in the next area of tribals. 
The tribals aren't in this maze, but they are in another room. So, we gotta go find them. You see what I mean? This music is amazing. I love it. Alright, be careful. Damn it! Don't shoot that! Come on, where the hell are you? Where the hell are you? <gasps> don't, 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 don't. Good. Okay, good. None are dead. Still one left. Where is he? There he is, right up top. You see what I mean? Those assassin droids panic the hell out of me, in case you haven't realized. Alright, good. We got them all. Let's get the hell out of here. This will lead you somewhere that is quite helpful, but it'll be of more use to me later in the game. It's still always a good stop place kind of deal. I don't really know. I'll explain it when we get there, but it, it's good to have it get done everything, blah words, as early as possible. There we go. Now, at the well, I don't really know how short this video is, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep this going. Because all we gotta do is just grab, yeah, see that was like three minutes, so that's no biggie. We're just gonna go ahead and keep this part going and combine it with this next area. This next area, you can't get all the tribals in on your first try. You gotta wait till later in the game. Plus, it's not really much of an area either. Now this is the walkway. It's a one-stop shop with a couple tribals. That's about all it is, really. Plus there's something else I want to grab, too. I did that while I was playtesting, I just remember that. So I'm going to include that, too, in this part. And then we'll come back tomorrow with SS Anubis. God damn it, I wish they had better parking. Put me way back there. What the hell is this? The funny thing about this place, though, is it doesn't have any music. It's just dead quiet. So it's kind of awkward, because I don't like dead quiet things, because it's just me and my commentary, and if I don't have anything good to say, then it's just silence and awkward silence, especially when you're watching a video, because that sucks. And you know what sucks else? Right up here. I'll test out that plasma shotgun for you guys. Yeah, you see, didn't necessarily kill him, but, uh... I should save my ammo for that. Alright! Die. <laughs> Thank you. Much. Hey! You guys suck. Oh. Thank you. Alright, so you fight these guys, they're all gone. Open up. And in here, you need a crowbar to open that. So, since we can't get that yet, and even if we did, we still wouldn't be able to do it, because we need another upgrade in order to actually get all of them in here. Grab the homing missiles. It's a very, very useful item, and I highly suggest using explosives when killing flying bad guys, because it, like the radius of the explosion will hit more than one and usually the flying bad guys stem very close to each other. This guy is called a diamond geezer. What you do is you pay him and he will either give you full ammo or full health. But since we haven't run into any money yet, it's kind of useless. But I find this area very useful if I ever do need to get full ammo or full health. Just, you know, I pick up money like a mofo, so just drop by here, waste some ammo just to get more and better health. I don't see any problem with it, so I advise you use this area if you need to, you know, see a diamond geezer at any time. Other than that, it's just your little quiet thing, and then boom. Most most accurate. <laughs> nice. Alright. And to make it even more awkward, this takeoff scene doesn't have any music too.
Alright, I'm really... Ooh, nice shadow. I just noticed that. I'm really beginning to think this might be a short part, so if it is, I apologize, but, um... You know what? I think what we'll do is we'll just show the cutscene for SS Anubis, and then we'll move on. Just to take up a little bit more time. This is where Unskippable is annoying. All you can do is pull out the map. So you got all these pretty things. There's a tribal guide to see which ones you've gotten, which you didn't, and how quick and all that. Those are the only places we got, so. You got a map. That's your options, which you can turn on the cheats. Health, I don't really know what else to say about that. Weapons, you can... It's like a weapon encyclopedia kind of thing. So it'll tell you some things you didn't know, like... The weapon I'm about to get is apparently heat-seeking, and I didn't actually know that. So it's pretty cool, but... There's not much to it on the pause menu. <sighs> so here we are back at Goldwood. Lighting that bridge on fire. I would edit it out, but I figure since this part's probably going to be short as hell, might as well keep it. Should be part three then. Right? Right, yeah. Okay, cool. Hi, hey, part three! Now that you've gotten the yellow key, what you can do is you can run down here and get a new weapon. Alright, just keep that ammo. Oh, hi, Fishingtons. There's also another weapon you can get down here, but I'm gonna get it with later with a different person. So, kill this beetle termite guy. I was told the best way to do it is to aim for their heads. Yeah, see? Take off their heads is the best way to do it, but I've also seen them use a machine gun, and since I don't want to waste my machine gun ammo... Alright, here's what I present to you that is a good idea if you ever run out to use the diamond geezer. The shuriken. You do not find shuriken ammo. That's what sucks about it, along with some other weapons. But, you know, just throw it, instantly cuts off their head. Really worth getting, I'm gonna get it with everyone, except... There's a cool thing about this game where, like, that chest right there that I just picked up the shurikens from, like, you can come back as someone else and then open the same chest and get the same item. So it's, I don't know if it, I imagine it's not a glitch, but you can kind of abuse that factor. And that is expected to do, actually, because they know about it, so... But when I do come back and get the shurikens with the other two, I won't show it. I'll probably just be like, hey, check it out, we got some, dog," Or something like that. Because that's what I sound like. Don't you know? Okay... This needs to hurry up and skip and move on so I can play the game on, dude. Why are you wasting my time? <laughs> I'm retarded. So, here's Magnus again. We're going to go ahead and show the cutscene, and then I'll see you guys later on the other side of the door for the next part. I'm afraid there's some bad news. Vila. I also heard her name pronounced Vela, but I prefer Vila. Yo, dog, you a woman, you best be doing your job. <laughs> you get down on them knees. <laughs> Those monsters. There's some sort of story behind this kicking of the bucket. I don't know what it is, I forgot. But it does have a meaning. I forgot what, though. Just be able to save the day. The guy who surrenders and just runs off, he's like, Oh, hell no, nah, dog! And if you notice, that little area is where we just were. Curious as to why we didn't see her, well, that's because... BAM! Nigga.
Get your ass in there! And now, she's a prisoner on the SS Anubis. So not only was SS Anubis a good thing to come to, but we have to save our sister. But... We shall save that for the next part. So, till then, I'll see you guys later. It's JC4R. I hope you've enjoyed this Jet Force Gemini. Shut the actual fuck up! See you guys later.